Today is the 90th anniversary of the, of the drive-in movie theater. So here we go. 1930s. The first drive-in theater was invented by Richard M. Hillshead. I hope I didn't... Hillshead worked on... Worked out the details by hanging a sheet of screen in his backyard. Richard began experimenting in his driveway of his of his home at 221 Thomas Avenue in Camden, New Thomas Avenue in New Jersey. Richard mounted a 1928 Kodak projector to the hood of his to his car by. He used a projector into a screen. He nailed to trees in his backyard. He placed a radio behind the screen for sound. Then started a test for his idea. Richard tested the sound with the windows up and down. Richard liked what he saw when he heard one main problem did Arrays in his test. That was if cars were parked behind each other, the rear windows would not be the rear. The cars at the rear would not be able to see the whole picture due to the the front of the car. The car in the front. This did not stop Richard in lining up in his driveway, spacing them. At visitor distances, by placing blocks under the front wheels, he was able to find the correct spacing and the correct angles to build ramps for cars to tires to park on the on. Thursday was born the first par parent of the drive-in theater. United States presents one million nine hundred United States presented United States parents one million nine hundred ninety thousand five hundred and thirty seven Next Richard Next Richard at the US Patent Office on August sixth, nineteen thirty two, he expanded on his invention on May 16th. Oh, wait, sorry, I was just paying. You was paying. Richard found a new found at the U.S. Patent Office on August 6, 1932. He experimented with his invention on May 16th, 1933. He got a patent of the first driving theater. The pen ever lectured. The pen was removed later in May of 1950. Drive ins of 1933. The Camden, New Jersey drive in, June 6, 1933. The Skinwalker Auto Park, Pennsylvania, still open. The rest of these don't know, okay. The Camden, New Jersey, the drive in theater, Camden, New Jersey. June 1933, Skinwalker Auto Park, Oldfield, Pennsylvania, April 15th, 1934, Drive-In Short Rail Theater, Galveston, Texas, July 5th, 1934, Palo, Los Angeles, California, September 1934, Walmart Drive-In Theater, Wayne Massachusetts, 1936, Starlight Auto Theater, Akron, Ohio, 1937, Lynn Open Theater, Lynn, Massachusetts, July 37. Province Orion Theater, July 21, 1937. Still open. Miami Drive-In, Miami, Florida, 19, February 25, 1938. Detroit Drive-In, June, June 2, 1938. Cleveland Drive-In, Cleveland, Ohio, June 1938. Strawberry Drive-In, Strawberry, Massachusetts, 1938. Sun Blake, Burbank, California, 19, June 1938. Muriel Auto Theater, Murray, Massachusetts, Summer 38. 
Valley Stream, Long Island, New York, August 10th, 1938. Corporate Christie Drive-In, Corporate Crispy, Texas, March 38, sorry, March 39. Soco Drive-In, Portland, Maine, July 15th, 1939. The Arctic Drive-In, Jacksonville, Florida, 1939. Nineteen forty, the driving history. By January forty-two, there were beginning to spare up across the United States. There were ninety-five drive-ins across twenty-seven states, led in Ohio with uh, with eleven drive-ins through the war years of forty-two through forty-five. The, begin the building of new drive-ins showed up during the involvement of World War II. Only six drive-ins were built. Many were preferred forced during the close during. Many performed faced the drive-ins during the time. Robert, for his tries for the rubber being in short supply, rubber for tires in short supply, since it is needed for the war efforts, gas reserves was affected during mostly of the part. Many theaters closed down for as much as two years. Post-war, 46 through 49. In 1946, the drive-in theaters grossed from 102 to 155. By, by 1948, there were 820 drive-in theaters across the U.S. Which concept of the drive-in theaters began straining, straining most people. New drive-ins would host open houses during the day. We pe we let people know to expect their the future customers. Open park with sound systems work through with our food available to possessions. Sound stands. Some drive-ins reported reported as many as four hundred cars would show up. For an open house. The Baby Boon. Okay, we know about the Baby Boon. Now, some drivers had playgrounds. Now, some drivers had... Some drivers had playgrounds. For the kids to play around in. Most of the time you saw Kid Theater. Yep, they take it to the scene, okay? So, okay. Now, okay. Oh, wow, that's old. I remember this. Nineteen fifties. The drive-in theaters hit the high numbers in the nineteen fifties. The drive-in the drive-in boom was underway, going less from less than a thousand in nineteen forty-eight, close to five thousand by nineteen fifty-eight. The drive-in endured the place of history, not in the USA but many countries across the world during the same years of nineteen forty-eight to nineteen fifty-eight. Over 5,000 indoor theaters closed around over 5,000 indoor theaters closed, reducing the numbers from 17,000 to 12,000. Just not drive-ins increased the size, but they said you could not build so big. One of the largest drive-ins was were Carpage, New York. Parking a space of 2,500 cars. It also had indoor seating of 1,200 seats. Viewing area. Hinting the air conditioning, playground, cafeteria, and a restaurant for full dinners. Shuttle train took the customers from their cars across 28 acres. Wow. Now, this is pretty neat. 
list of drive-in theaters by size. Now this has can be confirmed because this place is still open, and this place is the biggest one in the state. The Tory Drive-In in Detroit, Michigan. Well, actually, no, it's called something else now. Sorry. Sorry. Got that. The Tory Drive-In, Detroit, Michigan. 3,000 cars. The Panther Drive-In, Texas. 3,000 cars. All-Weather Drive-In, New Jersey. 2,500 cars. The 110 Drive-In, Millville, New York. 2,500 2, cars. New York, New Jersey. 2,400 cars. Cairo Drive-In. Sorry, Barrow Drive-In, Cairo, in Illinois. 2,300 cars. Tram Drive-In, Maryland. 2,479 cars. Los Angeles Speed, Los Angeles Lotto's Drive-In, Long Beach, California. 2,150 cars. Now, as it's recording, there is a drive-in in Michigan called the Wyoming Ford. I think it's called that. has eight drive-in screens as of this recording. It's the biggest drive-in in the state of Michigan, and it has like eight screens. I have never been there because it's a long-ass drive for me to go. I go to the one in cold water, which is closer to home. But when I go there, I think I get a hotel room. Now, the, what is the smallest drive-ins? Okay, now the smallest drive-ins. It's here, the Hummel Drive-In. 50 cars. Hummel Drive-In in Pennsylvania, 50 cars. The Highway Drive-In in Blooming De in Bloomberg, South Carolina, 50 cars. The Pole Dance DeLorean Drive-In. The Ponce de DeLorean Drive-In. Sorry, Ponce de DeLorean Drive-In, Florida, 60 cars. Twin Twiddle Drive-In, Nottle, North Carolina, 60 cars. Northwood Drive-In, Colorado, about 64, 64 cars. More drive-ins had to do... More drive-ins at most size number drive-ins included merry-go-rounds, many special things to playground. Many, many things like, such as playgrounds, miniature train, pony rides, boat rides, talent shows, miniature golf, and animal shows. That's pretty cool. Nineteen sixties and seventies. This is really really hurts that really hurts your gut. Nineteen sixties and seventies is where this really hurt you guys' gut. This is about the disgraces, the disgrable of the sixties and seventies. There are still drive-ins being built, but many are closing. They have gone away. Many theaters even pulled out the playground equipment in the 70s since new since fewer fam families are attending many movies together as teens and adult an audience example their example to beach move or of the 60s. And movies in the 70s like the van in Tex, like Texas Chainsaw, etc. Select a new time and destination. So in the sixties and seventies when they crashed. Nineteen eighties is where it really gets bad. Oh, I didn't leave all this stuff. Crap. Nineteen eighties, drive-ins are giving up the ghost. Blah 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 blah. 1980s stand out as far not very bad before the end. Low attendance almost killed off the drive-in. Many owners had stayed overnight to hit last year's attending, almost killing the drive-in. Many owners said they'd given up their hits overnight. Last year, 500 cars pulled out Friday in the year. This year, 50 cars. What's happening? Many things have pit and pulled. Popular things have left the drive-in. Something bigger has happened. Pay-per-view, VCR, DVDs, Betamax, DVD, Blu-ray. That yeah, didn't exist in the 80s yet, but you know. Hollywood is getting right to our houses, so where they go? This day, there are close to a thousand drivers dead. Are still close to a thousand drivers are dead. Drivers are growing. We're across many uh, like drivers are like closing in the late 80s. Notice. There are 
Tree, 20 inch tree growing in the lot. But how often we take the schools for granted? Well, the drive-ins closed down. Actually, sometimes they open for the extreme shit that I'm not into. 1990s. The drive-ins rebuilt. Something has happened. The numbers of drive-ins closing down. Many had added extra strings. Many to go twin or triple. Even a few went quad. Florida got one in Florida. Goes 13 screens, the clown familiar return families. I have been told by many owners that they closed the gate some nights because they ran out of space to park cars. Also, all, told by many owners they have to close the gate some nights because they ran out of space for park cars. Also, if you look at the crowds, you see mostly families and young children. Just crowding like the 50s. It seems that a new generation has decided to come back to the drive-in. In the 1990s, over the past four years, I'd have known of 15 drive-ins reopening. Not reopen, reopening, not just reopening, but four have been... New drive-ins have been built in the past five years. We're still losing drive-ins, but the numbers are stable. But we're br but bringing the spring up of oversight, opening the rising drive, opening up around the world. Russia in 1999, a few drive-ins have opening up in other countries. We're open some opening up in like Spain and Dubai. Dubai, ooh, this is 1990s. Well, we know this is old and antique, but still, I'm going to archive it. There, I archived it. But the drive-ins actually came back, guys, due to the coronavirus. But, I mean, the drive-in has and has not did good over the years, but the drive-in has done pretty good over the years. Um, a person like me, I try to go to the drive-in at least once a year. Drive-in is a nice place to go. I mean, if you keep out of drive-in, you're lucky, because now, if I were you... Go to Google, type in drive-in movie theater in your location, and see if you can find one in your area. If you can find one, go to it. Because you guys need to go to the drive-in. The drive-in, I mean, if you live in Michigan like I do, you have a short window. You only have the spring. I mean, because the drive-in opens up around now, around spring. Well, they opened up in March, okay? As is recording, they're already open. Already, as is recording, they're already opened. And they close around Halloween. That's how most drive-ins do it in Michigan. So most drive-ins are open from now... To the time this recording happened, they opened up in like late March, early spring. Most drive-ins open in late March, early April, and they stay open until October. Around the Halloween's, they close down. So, yeah, they're closed during the weird time, but most drive-ins, if you can find a drive-in, you can go to a drive-in and see a movie for, you can see two movies, the price of one. I go to a local drive-in near where I live, I can pay 10 bucks and see drive-in, see movies, the price of one. If you go to like a Spencer Cinema where I live, it's $7 for one movie. I can see two movies for 10 bucks. Oh, one more thing. Most drive-ins require you to bring cash. So, if you're reading, if you're watching this recording, guys, I recommend you guys bring cash when you go to the drive-in. Because a lot of drive-ins don't have internet, so you might have to bring cash with you. Most drive-ins prefer you bring cash. Cash money. So, when I go to the drive-in, I bring about 50 bucks. A little more, about $100 on me sometimes. Hundred dollars, Ty? You're crazy? No. I mean, if you're like me, you buy popcorn and goodies later on. But the drive-in loves me. I mean, I actually have done some videos on this channel of going to a drive-in movie theater, like the Capri and Coldwater. I actually have videos on our playlist under special of this thing. Now it's been ninety years since the drive-in opened up. Now I do know from where I live, the city of Michigan, I live in. There used to be about hundred and twenty drive-ins in the state of Michigan where I live. There's about 120 drive-ins. Now there's like 12, maybe 11 drive-ins left in the state of Michigan. But if you guys can know, I know someone though, I went online to look at the forgotten drive-ins in Michigan. Wow, there was a lot of drive-ins forgotten. I don't live that far from a drive-in up the road called the M60 in Parkville, Michigan. That closed down in the mid in the 1980s to I heard 83, 84, around the time that closed down. I mean, it looks pretty good though. I mean, all you have to do is cut the trees, cut down the trees and... Redo some things, you can reopen it, but the thing is, though, the drive-in has been 
gone. I mean, the drive-in was one of the best things that has happened. I mean, as of 2020, the drive-in has came back. And I love the drive-in because I mean, that's always been a question about when that Smoky Man came in back in the teens, back in 2010s, and something that had this, like, people were worried about the smoking law. Well, guess what? You can still smoke in a drive-in. They don't care. As long as you clean your ass cigarettes, they don't care what you do. Just clean up after yourself. I mean, there's some rules that to follow, but me personally, I like going to the drive-in. I mean, I always go to the drive-in. I always had fun going to the drive-in. Also, some drive-ins will, will let you rent a radio and chairs. Is that cool? I mean, yeah, the stuff that drive might be a little pricey, but it's okay, guys. Come on, you can get some stuff you can't get anywhere else. Like, you can get a full-on hot dog at a drive-in. You can get a pizza at a drive-in. I mean, some drive you even get peanuts for a buck. You even get peanuts. You can, you can get you can get pretty much anything you want at a drive-in. I mean, one time it was a cold night. I got me a coffee. They even have bug spray for a few bucks. The Capri is a pretty cool drive-in, guys. Now, a lot of drive-ins have ripped up the playground equipment. There's one drive-in I know still has playground equipment. They haven't ripped it out yet. According to what they talk to their church company, they don't care. There's even a drive-in. There's even a Best Western drive-in that has a drive-in movie theater in it. I'm not kidding. There's a drive-in. There's a Best Western drive-in, okay? It has a movie theater in it. I'm not kidding. They actually have a movie theater in their... They actually have a movie theater at their what, hotel. They don't have a pool, but they have a drive-in movie theater. Some drive-in movie theaters in California, okay? They use concrete because they're not going to do these rocks. They hit all concrete now. I mean, some drive-ins are... I mean, heard it. Some drive-ins are golfing ranges during the day. At night, they're driving movie theaters. That's pretty cool. Also, some drive-ins... Some drive-in movie theaters are, um, you know, driving rings during the day or flea market during the day. And at night, it's a movie theater. I mean, some drive-ins are open on the weekends. Like the Capri Drive-In in Coldwater, I go to. During the, during the, during the spring and fall, they're open three days a week. But when the opens up, when the summertime happens, they're open, they're open, they're open seven days a week. Most drive-ins do, I mean, something, so during the summertime, they're open more days a week. Also, when I go to the drive-in, I try going to a pool. I also go to a restaurant, like, I mean, I also go to the drive-in diner. But, the thing is, though, the drive-in was one of the best things that ever happened. I mean, it's sad, though, the drive-in closed down, but there's 300 left in the U.S. If you live near a drive-in, I recommend you go to it. Because there's drive-ins around the world. I mean, what I was using was a defunct website that has been, I mean, the website I was on was a defunct website. Okay. I haven't been on the website in years. I used to go to the drive-in website all the time because it was fun to go to it. That drive-in is a little outdated and defunct. It's so old it has an old area code around here that doesn't get used anymore. There's this drive-in called the Five Mile Only Watch I used to go to. The website on this website I was on was defunct because the numbers they had, the area code they had, was a defunct area code. They still had 616. That's not an area code around here anymore. Our area code around here is 269. That's how old, the, that's how old it was from the early 2000s. Because... 616 got defunct down here and got removed from this area and got turned to 269. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, if you can find a drive-in movie theater and there's a movie you want to see, go see it. Because if because you need to see it because if you don't know what you're... Because a drive-in is the best place to go. The thing about the Capri Drive-In Quarter, though, though, is it's right next to the airport. I'm not kidding. It's right next to the airport. I mean, there's rumors they're going to build another screen, but I don't think they're going to build another screen. They already have two screens, which is enough. But that place could hold over a lot of cars. Next time I go to the Capri Drive-In, if I do, I'll take our camera with us and we'll do a video there for you guys. But then, talk to you guys later. See you then.